Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about how we can execute the migrations in type ORM. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So how we are going to execute the migrations, right? So first of all, what important things that you have to come into your mind. First of all, we have to let's generate one more migration file, which we have already done, right? So here I'm going to use another column, add new column to the users table i think it's not there or uh, add new another column first i will going to create a new field also so let's uh, run from the this one okay let's paste this migration file generated let's have a look for that one okay so here we have the migration files for that one and we have a up and down if you want to re revert back then down then if you want to insert something then we we'll go with the up okay so i'm going to use this one for that one because i'm using the colon okay users and here the table name we have some issues let's import this one from here done i'm going to use the phone only let's take a phone okay already we have phone number so let's take a phone save this now i'm going to run this migrations with the command we have already in this that is this one what npm let's run it npm run type orm migrations run hyphen d this is the data source and the file data source dot yes make sure the data source file should be a separate thing so how we can create the data source file so this is data source file and here we have all the details we have make sure the migrations path would be correct one somewhere there is a migration somewhere there is a migrations because current version we have a migrations right if you uh, like uh, any tutorial you are following or something in the last one last year or something it will help it is i think migration so new one that have a migrations right and in the packet.json make sure you have to add the scripts like this okay so start dev okay type orm make sure the type orm would be like this okay and let's run it and here we go with the committed migration add new another column has been executed successfully let's go to this one and let's again this is a phone column is there right so this is how you can execute the migration alter modify anything you can do right so the coming series i think we can drop it we can add a new or something we can play around with the type orm typescript any doubt any query in that do let me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day